Holi is just around the corner and if you want to pamper your taste buds and get into the festive spirit then here's a super quick recipe for you to make delicious shahi gulab and thandai bonbons as shared by pastry chef Sumit. Ingredients: for ganache 165 grams cream, 10 grams rose water, 15 grams butter, 20 grams cocoa butter, 190 grams white chocolate and 30 grams thandai. Directions: Heat the cream, rose water, thandai and butter. Pour over white chocolate and cocoa butter. At 30 degrees Celsius, emulsify using a hand blender. For shelf, 500 grams white chocolate and 150 grams cocoa butter. Heat cocoa butter in 30 second intervals in the microwave until melted. Pour into 5 small bowls, add a few drops of oil based food colouring to each bowl. Paint the colours into the bonbon moulds using a small brush. You can add layers of paint for more colour. Place 300 grams of chocolate in a heat proof bowl. Transfer to a bain mary with simmering water or microwave in 30 second intervals. Melt the chocolate to 45 degrees Celsius. Add in the 200 grams of chopped chocolate part by part and stir until all the chocolate has melted. Transfer back to the Bain Mary to a low simmer or use a heat gun of hair dryer to warm to bring it back to a workable consistency if needed. Workable temperature is about 29 to 30 degrees Celsius. For the assembly, pour tempered chocolate into each mold. Tap the mold until all the air bubbles are out. Give the mold a wipe. Invert the bowl, let the chocolate drizzle out. Let the chocolate sit in the mold for a minute. Then, invert the mold onto a wire rack so that the chocolate coats the upper edge of the mold. Allow the shells to crystallize. Transfer the ganache into a piping bag. Pipe into each well. Don't overfill or get ganache on the edges of the mold. You need to seal the bonbons with more white chocolate so the filling can't ooze out. Allow ganache to crystallize and fill the mold with another layer of chocolate. Tap to get any air bubbles out and transfer to the fridge. The chocolate will pull away from the mold once it has set. Tap it onto the counter and you're done.